Hi and welcome to this week's video. In this one, I will show you the bubble sword uh, with Python. And the bubble sword is a comparison based solving algorithm where you compare two values and swap them if they are not in the correct order. So let's don't talk too much and jump right in. So first what I'm going to do, I will write the indexes of the array at the top here, which will then also of course be the correct order of those numbers below. But of course you can also sort not only numbers, but also letters or characters. Like what the bubble sort will do, it will look at the first index and compare it with the next index and see if the next index is smaller than the current index. If so, it will change or swap those entries. And then it will have a look at the next index. We'll compare those, we'll compare the number here with the next number. If the next number is smaller, it will again swap those numbers. And with that method, the largest number will be pushed to the end in the first iteration. And in the second iteration, the second large number will be pushed to the end and so on. Um, but on its way above, it also starts to sorting bigger numbers to um, more towards the right and smaller numbers towards the left. So let's maybe go through one iteration, how this will look like with this array. So let's go here. So in the first iteration, we have number five and we will compare it to number two. So number five is uh, larger than the number two. So we will swap those entries to two and five. Then we will compare number five to six, but six is larger than five, so it will be staying like it is. Then we are looking at six to eight, six to eight, eight is larger than six, so we keep the eight and six where it is. Um, but then we are comparing eight to three, and eight is larger than three, so we put the three here and swap it with the eight. Then again, we're looking, we're comparing eight against one. One is larger than the eight. So we do swap it again. Then we're looking eight against zero. So we swap zero to here. Four is also bigger than the eight, uh, smaller than the eight, sorry. And then we are here. Eight compared to nine, nine is larger than the eight, so the eight will stick here. And then we are comparing number nine to seven, and seven is actually smaller, so we compare it, uh, we, we swap those numbers, and then we have number nine at the end of this array of the first iteration. And we also, as you can see, we also swapped the eight from this position already and pushed it to that position. And also the five from this position to that position. So in the bubble sort, you're already sorting bigger numbers um, to the, yeah, you push them to the right and uh, smaller numbers to the left. And to do this now as an algorithm, so if you have an array like that and you want to sort it with the bubble sort, what you need to do is you need an index. And I'm not doing uh, taking length here now. Um, I just do take the actual numbers, sizes here. And in here we check if the array entry i, so we iterating through the index and we get the first element. And if this is larger than our array entry i plus one, so the next entry, 
then what we are going to do is we want to swap the entry. Yeah, here's a mistake. Let's copy that plus one. And then we do it vice versa. So that's what you maybe want to do. But here's a little mistake in there because like in the first iteration, like if if our entry um, as it was in our first iteration five is larger than two, then we write uh, two into our index zero. And then in our index one, we want to write the five in there. But now we already wrote the two into the five. So we would write the two again into our next entry. So the output of this one would be now two, two, which would be wrong. So what we need to do here, we need to um, have a temporary variable. I just call it temp for temporary. And we have to store one of the numbers in there to save it. So I'm going with the first index here. So we are going to get the temporary variable of that again. So we print our array at the end and then we are going to execute bubble sort pi. And then we all already get the order I showed you in the example. So in order to sort the whole array, what we need is another for loop. And this one is iterating through it, um, how many entries there are. If you're executing the algorithm again, then our array is completely sorted from zero to nine. And now we could also check how often the array was iterated through. So if we input J here as a second output, then we see that currently it has to run eight times to finalize our attempt here. Yeah, to prevent unnecessary runs because we are current currently running from zero to nine, which is maybe not needed because we already, as you can see, we only have to run eight times. So we can, yeah, check how I should I call it? We can have just a Boolean here, check if swapped or so, and we set that to false. In here, we set the check for swap to true. And at the end, whoop, here, we check if the check if swapped um, is equals false. And if this is the case, we do a break. If we go with this iteration in here and we don't enter this loop anymore because nothing is bigger than the next number, which will cause that this is true. So if you basically over jump this whole loop here, we can break and end this loop. So if I execute this again, we actually get, we run only six times and still our array is totally sorted. Yeah, that's everything you need to know about the bubble sort. Um, there are of course more sorting algorithms I want to show you in the next upcoming videos. So if you like this one, uh, give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the explanations of the other algorithms. And with that, see you in the next one.